G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Now it was a massive win guys, a huge win we had yesterday. Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Falcons, uh, snuck away, snuck away in the, in the last, you know, last quarter there, 19-16. Uh, Minka ended it with the, with the pick, didn't run into the end zone, but ran out of bounds. But today guys, this is a very interesting topic and there's a few ideas I want to talk about with reference to George Pickens. And the big question I'm asking today is, did George Pickens act the right way? Now, in this picture, he is visibly upset. But if you go and find the video on YouTube, you'll find it somewhere. If you go back and watch the game, George Pickens is absolutely pissed off and mouths the word, or looks like he mouths the word, um, throw me the effing ball, right? This happened just after that the apparent DJ fumble which wasn't a fumble, which we got lucky, actually. I think the Steelers got very lucky. I thought it might have been a fumble, then we got very, very lucky. But as DJ fumbled the football, GP walking to the sidelines, rips off his helmet, and what seems to be mouths the word, throw me the effing ball. Now, I asked the question, did GP act the right way? And in this circumstance, what is the right way? Do you hold all your frustration in and wait until the next drive? Or do you let all your frustration out, which in, in some circumstance, you might, you might have all right to do. But by yelling at the staff and yelling at the, the players on the sideline, is that the right way to go about things? Let me know in the comments below if you think this was the right way to go about things. Now, G, GP in college was always full of fire. He was getting in fights. You know, um, I think there's like one big fight with the cornerback where the fist came out. So it's it's got a bit of history there. Now I'm not saying he's gonna this is gonna continue. I'm just saying it's a it's like a it's like a key piece right now because what you saw, I think it was two weeks ago, where GP got fined for hitting a guy on the ground. It was a kickoff, uh, onside kick return. GP ran over, the guy had recovered recovered the football, next minute, jumps on him, leads with the head, and he gets ejected. So these things are starting to add up, right? So it's just it's just interesting to know, but I do have a fun, uh, an interesting way of seeing things right near the end if you stick to the end of the video. But GP was obviously pissed off, upset, took his helmet off, throw me the effing ball. He wasn't getting targets out of the whole team. He got two targets, right? But I don't think that's the, that, that's completely the issue. So in this game, he got two targets, one one reception for two yards, but in total. He's got 37 receptions, 61 targets, 512 yards, 13.8 yard average, two TDs, and his longest one is 36 yards uh, a game, right? So that to me is all right for a rookie. I don't know about you guys, but that's, that's not too bad for me. The thing is, though, I think this becomes more of a, a personal matter, a me matter, and George Pickens is saying, well, Look at me, me, me. I'm not getting the ball. Me, me, me. And the thing is, guys, he could be right. Okay, Matt Canada and this offensive system, possibly, and Kenny Pickett isn't looking his way. But I think it's the wrong way to go about things. I really do. I think you gotta, you've got to direct all that energy back into the next drive and not yell at your teammates and not have a, a sook fest if you want to court that on the sidelines, right? But also, it was interesting to note, too, that Cameron Haywood came over and like, like the true leader he is and how to talk to George Pickens. So I kind of get this feeling that it might not happen again. Once it happened, George went down, of course, visibly upset. So, so you know, verbally upset, too. Sat down. And then the next frame in the broadcast, you see Cameron Haywood come over and say hello, maybe to get some words of wisdom and just calm down the young rookie and possibly steer him in the right direction. So that to me is a very, is a good positive. But I want to put a bit of a spin on it, right? I want to put a bit of a spin on this story because did GP act the right way? That's the question. Now, if you saw another video out there, uh, there was a video that came out yesterday, a fan or a media member during halftime, I believe it was halftime, asked Coach Tomlin, a question on the way to the locker room. And in in Coach Tomlin's response, right, 
And this is what makes me a bit like intrigued about this because is this a, is this, is this a learned behavior from Mike Tomlin? Is this a locker room thing? Is it is the coach setting setting an example here, right? So Coach Tomlin responded uh, to this media member, "Man, I'm effing working." Coach Tomlin, let's go for the win, man. man. I, I believe the guy said. Hey, Coach Tomlin, let's go get this W, right? Something similar during halftime. And Coach Tomlin walked into the locker room, said, man, I'm effing working. Now, when you put the two in comparison, a lot of fans will probably say Pickens was in the wrong. GP shouldn't be yelling at his staff. GP shouldn't be yelling at his teammates. GP needs to calm down. George Pickens needs to calm down and just go out and play football, right? And some of the same people, and including myself, that I would cheer on Mike Tomlin for giving that response back to the media member or the fan member, should be held to the same accountability. Mike Tomlin saying, uh, man, I'm effing working, is very similar, if not the same, to what George Pickens' outburst was against his, against his teammates. Mike Tomlin should have a better call than that to not to blow a head gasket gasket over a simple question of or statement, hey Tom one, go get that W. So it's very interesting to me to see those two things happen in the one game. So is this a cultural thing? Is this a locker room thing? Is this, are these two are these two you know incidents completely separate? Not too sure. Is there a bit of leadership and where Coach Tom one you know, if he's speaking like this to the media members and gets caught out on video, is that reflecting the way that players are speaking to each other or speaking to the coaches? There are some worrying concerns there. I just thought it was interesting. So as much as I enjoyed Mike Tomlin yelling out, man, I'm effing working. And if I were to criticize George Pickens for yelling at his staff, sometimes they are one in the same to some retrospect. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought about George Pickens uh, throw me the effing ball. And in comparison, what are your thoughts about Mike Tomlin saying, man, I'm effing working? Because to me, those two go together and it's very interesting because I see, I see, I put my hand up and say, I think George Pickens should contain himself. He's a rookie, he needs to, needs to just, just to play like, play like a rookie, treat himself like a rookie, right? And not be out so outlandish. But at the same time, I tend to sway and I cheer that I like the aggressiveness of Mike Tomlin saying, man, I'm effing working. So I'm in, two, I'm in two minds. But to me, they're very, very similar. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if, if you are... Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Did George Pickens act the right way? That's what I want to know. Thanks, guys, for listening to Steelers Nation Australia. I'll see you later.